passed away at the clinic that I was going to. You know what I'm saying? Because their blood pressure went down too low. While while they were on the dialysis machine? Right, yeah. on the machine. Yeah. It happens like frequently. You don't really hear about it like talking about, but it happens. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? That was my first choice. I'm like, well, I don't want to be sitting in no clinic. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody looking at you and stuff like that. I have a unique story if you got if you got a minute. We got it. It's your so, show. Okay. So what I wound up doing was I kind of, you know, I studied it first to see what it all, you know, what all it takes or whatever. So I went ahead and signed up for the, um, you know, the in-home dialysis. But you have to go through training or whatnot. <clears throat> so I had... Um, I had got some. I had got some surgery in November the 9th. They placed these tools like in my stomach. That's um where they do the um the dialysis when you do it at home or whatever. So that was in November. So January they let me heal for like I believe it was like six, six to eight weeks or something like that. You have to heal. So January I went through training where they show you you know the steps and what you have to do at home or whatever. Some and by me being visually impaired, it was a little more harder because you gotta you gotta be very very careful with those tools and stuff. You gotta pretty much know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she was telling me that it is a couple of blind people that actually do it. You know, but they have a little help as well, a little assistance. So <clears throat> I'm back I'm back staying with my mother and father at the moment, and they you know they of age or whatever. So we in training. I got to looking at this stuff. I was like, it's time consuming because you do it every day. Now, when I was studying for it, I didn't realize how much time that actually is. You're doing it every night, and it's like from, I don't want to uh, misquote it. I believe it's like six to eight hours. You're on a machine at, at night, but you sleep. Wow. But you can pretty much do it, you know, any time of the day or whatever. But it's every day. And it's like very tedious. You have to really know what you're doing with those tools. You can't, you can't hit it or whatever. If you hit it, it has an arm. Um, a way that you can get infected and all that, man. It's it's like it's a lot that I didn't really um realize at, at the moment. So I got to think, I got to scratch my head. I'm like, man, it'll be kind of hard on my parents. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I'm taking from their life as well. You feel me? I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go with the hemodialysis. It's easier for everybody. It's not as time consuming. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. three days. It's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or you can do Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Either way. <clears throat> so um in February I had the surgery to get the um the um the graft put in my arm or whatever. So from February until June I was going three days a week up here in Baker mm. to the um the house or whatever. Man, it's like it drains you. Um some days you just you know it's it's like it's mentally challenging too. Just thinking about like it's like what today is today is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So I'd have been I'd have been in the chair right now getting sucked off. <laughs> That's what we call it the clinic getting sucked off. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> they clean your blood, but you getting sucked off in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, so all right. So. Well, Ken, can you Ken? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can you explain a little bit about the graft? I'm kind of familiar with it a little bit. Oh, um, no and problem. that's the integral part of going to dialysis and being prepared for dialysis. So could you explain what the graft is? Yeah, I can do more than that. I can show you actually, because the one, the, the procedure you that still I have had, it? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, it stays in your arm, even though I'm not on dialysis anymore. Mm -hmm. But the one that I have, is like under my skin. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the ones that's, um, you know, older or whatever. Cause I believe this is the one, you see, I was one of the first persons to actually get it in Louisiana. But I'm gonna show you my arm. Um, where I was getting dialysis there, you can see that. Mm -hmm. You can't even see. You can you can pretty much see the tube. It just looked like a big vein. Yeah, and my uncle had it. My uncle had it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's actually better. But 
the clinic I was going to, they had never dealt with that. So it was times where they were sticking me and they really didn't know, you know, they really couldn't get it or whatever. So I had a vast cap. They start you off with a vast cap. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. So to, to allow your arm to heal or whatever. So once your arm healed, that's when they start um sticking you in your arm. That lasted for about like six weeks. They give you like six to eight weeks to heal your arm or whatnot. Mm-hmm. With the um the vast cap and the graft or whatever. But um, what that does is it, it takes your blood out, it filters it basically, you know what I'm saying? And it, it puts it back in your body. But if you take too much fluid off your body, man, it's like it's like it's like having a heart attack. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like putting stress on your heart or whatever. So people don't oh, know man. how yeah, how, how serious dialysis <laughs> is. And they had a couple of people that actually passed away at the clinic that I was going to. You know what I'm saying? Because their blood pressure went down too low. While while they were on the dialysis machine? Right, yeah. on the machine, yeah. Mm-hmm. It happens like frequently. You don't really hear about it like talking about, but it happens. Ah! <laughs>